Per Rolling Stone, his death was announced online this weekend by his former Buck Rogers co-star, Gil Gerard. Silla died of pancreatic cancer, he was 84. Originally trained as a circus performer in Italy, Silla moved to the United States in the mid-50s, touring with the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus and developing skills as a bareback rider, trapeze artist, and more. He parlayed these abilities into acting work in the 1960s, often serving as a stand-in or stunt performer for child actors in dangerous scenes. He got his break into acting work in 1965, when his agent sent him to audition to play Cousin It, a role that wasn't actually described to Silla until he was actually on the set of The Addams Family, getting covered in a giant suit made of hair. It was not, as he later described it, an especially comfortable part. From there, Silla became one of Hollywood's go-to costumed performers, elevated by his physical talents as a performer, his well-known sense of humor, and his willingness to spend hours on any given day in heavy or uncomfortable accoutrements. Over the next 20 years, he'd become a regular for Sid and Marty Croft, appearing frequently on both H.R. Pustaff and Lidsville, take on the physical role of the robot T. Wiki on Buck Rogers, and serve as the alien who inexplicably serves as a plot point in Meatballs Part 2. Through his stunt work, he also continued to make connections and friends who would serve him well in his career, most notably George Lucas and Steven Spielberg, who used him as a stunt performer in E.T. and Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and who made use of his numerous talents as the hang-gliding Ewok in Return of the Jedi. And when Mel Brooks wanted to poke fun at Lucas' opus with Spaceballs a few laters, Scylla got the call for that, too. In an industry always willing to force actors of his stature into a particular niche, Silla found ways to thrive. His resume includes many of the most successful and beloved films of all time, and, in interviews, he clearly comes off as a man happy to have contributed his talents to such a wide number of beloved characters. Even after he stopped acting in the 1990s, Silla continued to be a fixture on the convention scene, often with Gerard traveling the country, and meeting with fans of his decades of work.